What is up, everyone? We are back for another one. We are rolling down Production Drive. There's all types of really neat businesses down here, but we're going back to Dishman's to uh, drop off our intake. We're going to get it coated just like we did the, uh, the downpipe. And, uh, well, it's going to be a couple days and then we'll be back. I'm really excited to spice up the bay a little bit. I got nothing against Racing Line like I told you guys. Nothing at all. You guys know, actually, I really, really love Racing Line. So getting rid of their, their inlet and hose and filter just isn't, I don't know. I'm indifferent in a way. I, I'm just, I'm upgrading to chase every 10th to show um, how well this platform and this car can do. So nothing against them. You know I love them. But we're going to DVV2. They're into that race car shit. And that's what we're into. And uh, let's go back here, open up the box, get one last look at it before uh, we turn it in for a transformation. Dishman's powder coating, Yorktown. And uh, here's this. I got to pop off this seal real quick. And this guy right here. I don't want things to get lost. I do keep... I just cut my nails the other day, so I don't think I can get in there with my nail. No, I keep a little flathead in the car, so we'll we'll go grab that, yank that off, put it in a glove box so it doesn't get lost. But yeah, here's one last good look. Um, before it's transformed. Another shot. These guys are awesome. They know what they're doing. They got a lot of stuff going on here all the time. I had like a whole Camaro chassis in here last time. They were fooling around with. Looks like they're doing some type of something here. That looks super fancy. Anyway, we'll be back in a week or so. It's time for me to go hit the gym. Here we are, guys. About a week and some change later, heading back. Gonna go pick up our intake. I am super excited. That means this weekend, uh, we can go out and try and make this 10 second pass. Super stoked. We got the turbo blanket on. Now we'll have the intake. And uh, we got the fuel, so we're almost there for the focus, Dishman's. And now they did tell me there is a spot where the uh, Cerakote kind of ran, and I, they, they offered to redo it, and I was like, send me a picture, I'll let you know what I think, and it's really not terrible. It's like one little spot, and I don't want to wait another week and some change for them to get it done, so... It will be a little spot. Maybe we can cover it with the sticker. I don't think anyone's really going to notice anyway, but... It's nice that they let me know and didn't try and just play it off, so. Let's pop this in the trunk real quick, take a look. Looks a lot darker in the wrap. I gotta get back to work. I'm on my lunch break. I cannot wait to actually see this. Oh my goodness, that's gonna look amazing. All right, I gotta get back to work, but goddamn, I'm excited. Here we are, guys. It's after work. I, uh, well, after dinner now, actually. Finally, it can open up. I, I barely cracked it open earlier. I think I showed you guys the color looks. So, earlier, there is a little paint drip on here. I haven't seen it in person yet. He sent me pictures. I might actually need a, something to open this with. Oh, we'll bring, bring it up close. You see the little drips? That's all it was. And he was asking me if I wanted to redo it for that little bit. I ain't gonna see that. Oh, there's a little bit right there too. You can't really even see it. I am not worried about that at all. Look at how good that looks, guys. Holy shit. That looks, oh, that's gonna look really good in the bay. It's a little bit darker than what I thought. My, my stuff's a little bit, well, when it, once it gets some heat to it, it'll, it'll lighten up, but you can see he, uh, he taped this off real nice, chased the threads for me, he said. This will go in, there we go. Boom, that's the vacuum for the manifold. Now, I have to make sure I tighten that down later. There we go. Boys, come up close. Look at that. Real nice surface, I told him not to paint this, so. Nice, the whole inside's done real good. I don't know if you guys can, can you move the camera around and see inside in there? No? Awesome. You can see like the sparkle in it. 
I'll try and get some pictures and post them up here. But uh, tomorrow after work today is all rainy and shitty, so tomorrow I get off early. I do. Yeah, I get off at uh, 2 for PT. Uh, we go do volleyball. Anyway, um, this bad boy's going in tomorrow, and I got the filter in there that I need to toss on with it for daily driving, but this weekend, now that we have the turbo blanket, and we got this, let me get this seal on real quick. When I go and make these passes this weekend, no filter, baby. No filter. So that's going to be one of the key things to getting this thing to run a 10 is uh, no filter. <laughs> It'd be cool to be one of those guys at the track now running with no filter. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just awesome. It would have been, it's always been a dream of mine to have a velocity stack intake like all the cool guys. So there we are. See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, here we are. Sorry in advance for any wind noise. You can kind of see down into the turbo there. Let's get a little look. Let's shove the camera down in there, actually. Let's get a, get a look at her. Look at it, so pretty. All right, anyway, so we got the racing line intake out, as you can see, um, and we're about to throw in this DVB2 unit. I got the seal all lubed up. She's ready to go in. Didn't show you guys taking the intake off because I've already made a video on that. I'll link it down below if you need to see that. But being told, I got to connect this first. Basically, I'm going to clean it up. But then connect that first and then basically just slide it on in. I'm going to loosen this a little bit more to give me some more room. This bottom screw can stay in. And then because uh, it's slotted. That's how it is from the factory as well. So we'll slap it on there, pop it in. Um, I think this little guy is going to be in the way ever so slightly. You might have to like twist it up like this or something. But um, basically the, the worst part of it is going to be this because this is so stiff. This, this is no flex. This is like a total hard pipe. And once it connects to this, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of play. Like it does kind of swivel, but uh, it's a pain in the butt. So we'll connect it, slap it on. Uh, yeah, go from there. I'll just, uh, I guess I'll do a time lapse or something. as best as i could get it it doesn't want to stretch to reach up there i mean it's in there pretty good it's just not in there the whole way pain in the ass i hate that they did this honestly i'm going to ask him if he can just make a little plug for this and then you can just disconnect this from the diverter valve and let it like just be free be open instead of routing back into the intake and it gets rid of like yeah this whole hose and it kind of like pushes up on my intake not a fan i'm well guys, it's a bit dark out here, but as you can see, this thing's pretty badass. So the clearance here for where like my intake goes, I I did cut this a little bit shorter just to give me a little bit more more playroom in here. And I just modded the hell out of my box. So we'll see if it fits. But if you have a normal bet, you can take your old intake and have like the mouth here. So it still kind of like, directs air into the bay. But uh I want the box, so this is what it would look like if you didn't have it. Well, you'd still have that thing, like I said, but it looks damn good in there. We'll see how uh, how my intake box fits with this. It might not even clear the top of it, honestly. Like, this might not even work like I want it to. But we shall find out. All right, guys, so here we are. <laughs> Turns out my intake is not gonna work, no matter what, because of how high this thing sits. It's uh, that's just never gonna work there. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So I went and grabbed my old air dam, and uh, we're just gonna take off the VW box. This is gonna go on the wall in the garage, and uh, that's gonna be it. I have, have this up next to my valve cover. It should actually look pretty sweet. But so we're swapping that out. We'll show off the big dong 24/7. I fucks with it. All right, guys, so here's what we wound up with looks-wise. 
I'm loving it. A little bit of scratches on here I need to try and remedy, but the bronze theme is hitting. Now imagine that with the bronze intake manifold, some red cool packs, some other bronze hardware, a nice black painted uh, valve cover. We're getting there, baby steps. All right, in the morning will be the first drive because it's uh, I had to stop and break for dinner and all that mumbo jumbo. So we'll load the GoPro up on the way to work and we'll let this baby sink. Man, this thing's huge. And then when I go for this 10 second run this weekend, that filter's coming off. And we're getting all the good air. I'm freaking excited. Come on, guys, as promised, we're gonna get some clips. I'm on a bridge right now.